Hello, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. So let's start. In a few sentences, please tell us who you are and what you do. So my name is Denise Pliskin, and I am the Senior Director of um, Product Development Strategy at Spec Design. My background was I was a product designer for many, many years, and now mostly what I do is I work with clients to help them figure out um, if their ideas are something that are, can make it to market, and if so, how we're going to get them there. Uh, that sounds great, Denise. Thank you. Thanks for being on. So uh, tell us, what's the best thing about being in product development? I think that the best, well, there are a number of things. One is to be able to be at the front line of seeing what this future is that we're creating. I mean, that's what product designers are doing, is they're creating a future for people. Sometimes it's trivial, but sometimes it's something that's really going to have a huge impact on people's lives. So that's what I find the most exciting. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, uh, you know, there, there are small incremental changes and then there's once in a while you get a, a terrific game changer and, and it's just really exciting. It's a yeah. good industry. Yeah. Yeah. Plus you're just working with just smart, interesting people. Very much so. That's, uh, that, that, that's, what, that's why I'm talking to you and everyone else <laughs> on this podcast. I like talking to smart people. So. <laughs> I, I, I hear from our clients in the industry that uh, they're always looking to either accelerate product development, increase innovation, and or improve the handoff from design to manufacturing. Tell me your thoughts. So there's a, a good and a bad to all of this, right? So people have come up with this whole notion of agile and you know sprints that come from the software world mm -hmm. well when you design something that makes noise when you drop it it's very different than designing software right you very can't true. just port in a change yep. um, because you've made a mistake so what at spec design what we do to compress the schedule is instead of working in what how how it used to work is that you would do research you would hand it to the industrial designers and the industrial designers would hand it off to the mechanical engineers right. what we do is we have integrated teams so they're working all together so Good. issues get elevated very fast and so that's how we like to compress schedules um, rather than you know doing it in kind of uh in different buckets of skills. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know good teamwork putting a good team together and having them work together i mean that that's a whole skill in and of itself uh but that that is one way to really resolve all of those issues uh, that, yeah. that's that's right because in in the old way of doing things by the time it got to the engineers, the client is completely forgotten. Engineers are not known for their concern for client experience. So <laughs> you wanna make sure those threads go all the way through. Yeah, yeah, if, that's, if that is handling, uh, being handled in small doses throughout the project, uh, it, it's a lot nicer for the client. <laughs> yes, yeah. So tell me, uh, who, uh, who else should be on, uh, what other experts, I guess, like yourself, should be on the Product by Design podcast? Well, I think it's really important to get um, user insights research people. I, that I now believe that it is an essential part of making sure you're designing a product that meets users' emotional needs. Mm -hmm. Good. You want to make sure that people are connecting with the product. So everywhere from, you know, understanding what unmet needs are and obviously translating it into something that is a cost effective product. So I would, I'd want to have all of those types of people on your, on your podcast. All right. Sounds good. Uh, what insight would you like to share with other manufacturers? Well, it, it's not so much other manufacturers because I'm mostly, you know, dealing with, with other designers. Okay. And I, I think that the important thing, and, and 
is that a great product idea does not necessarily turn into a great product. And even a great product that functions right, that looks great, that has all of the elements, doesn't necessarily equal a successful product. And a successful product doesn't even equal a successful business. So there's this whole long line of development that goes everywhere from making sure you've got great technology to making sure that you're meeting users' emotional needs. And that's even true when you're designing. We design a lot of products that show up in data centers. And even the service guys, and they're usually guys, they want to feel proud of the product that they're working on. So this is not just something for a consumer product. Okay, that's very insightful. So great. So what, what is the craziest thing you've seen in, uh, in, in all okay. this uh, long line so, of product development? So one of the crazy, I have many crazy stories, <laughs> but one of the, the craziest stories is we were working on a project for a very large um, Silicon Valley company that everybody knows about. Okay. And they brought us in to do an on-site sprint but they put us in an area that had very, very high security. So they decided to put us on the loading dock. <laughs> and the loading dock, this is right out of the show Silicon Valley, the loading dock had a slope to it. Oh, so wow. if you let go of the table, <laughs> you started rolling out the big doors. And this is like, this is the most, successful after microsoft i think the most successful company in the united states it's okay that gives us a hint yes <laughs> that's a hint and so the show silicon valley is also a hint and i won't tell you about having to use the porta potties in the parking <laughs> lot because otherwise we had to be escorted to the bathrooms. So, high security but uh, and rolling yeah, tables uh, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty crazy so <laughs> Hey, Denise, you've been great. Thank you for being on. Uh, let people quickly, we've got a minute left, know how they could uh, get a hold of you if they'd like to. So the best way to get a hold of us is um, spec design, S-P-E-C-K design.com. And I'm Denise Pliskin, denise.pliskin at spec design.com. And if you need some consultation on developing a product or you need a product designer, we're, we're, we're great. We love it. Great. Thank you so much for being on. Hey, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. For more insights and ideas, please go to creativemechanisms.com.